the tenor of Deshaun Watson's situation, which is a phrase that we always use in the sports world as a, uh, I guess, a crutch to explain a lot of stuff. The word situation doesn't even begin to (laughs) express or explain properly what's going on with Deshaun Watson. Now, I do believe two more, two more civil lawsuits have been fired against, filed against Deshaun Watson. Yeah, we're at 21 now. 21 women have now spoken to the lawyer Tony Busby in Houston to say that Deshaun Watson, and based on all of the 21 um, uh, lawsuits or, or claims, filed civilly claim anything from untoward and disturbing behavior to what sounds like criminal behavior to me. And um, one massage therapist spoke to Sports Illustrated under an alias to corroborate what some of the claims have said. This massage therapist said Deshaun never touched her and never, de- you know, demanded he touch her and didn't force himself on her. But the behavior is disturbing and shocking, to be honest with you. And she said she didn't want to be part of this, you know, I guess what's becoming a class civil action because she was uncomfortable with the document that the lawyer who's been honchering all this wanted her to sign And subsequently, yesterday on Instagram, the lawyer, Tony Busby, said he was not going to actually file any of this stuff, any of this evidence with the Houston Police Department, which he's had a personal problem with and a professional problem with in his mind for years. And the reason why he's not going to even file it now is because the lawyer that's representing Deshaun Watson, Rusty Harden, has a son who works in a part of the police department And thus, what, the whole entire police department can't handle or give justice to 21 women because of something personal with the Lord? The whole thing is just weird and bizarre and strange, to say the least, and shocking, all of it. So, Albert brought this up with Nick Casario, who basically said that they're still waiting this thing out, essentially on Deshaun Watson that this whole situation needs to play out. And then Albert, once he brought up this with Casario, then moved on to the football aspect of it. And in terms of that, we've heard from Albert, we've heard from so many people, we've heard from so many different members of the NFL media world that Casarius told everyone to, if you will, pound sand, right? Right. Said, you can, I think it was Albert, he came on Monday, right? And he said that Casario's telling everyone, I think he's the one who's telling us this, because again, we're fortunate to have so many people on this program um, talking about these subject matters. He's the one who said that Casario's like, you could talk to me about anybody with a quarterback, right? Pretty much. So listen to uh, this exchange, if you don't mind, between Casario and Albert Breer on his podcast, The Albert Breer Show. Listen to this exchange between all of them and, and tell me if you hear the phrase at all or the sense at all that we are not trading Deshaun Watson, which has been the, the whole concept. He's our quarterback and we're not trading him. He's our quarterback for now, or the sense that he's told people we're not trading him. L- give a listen. Okay, you have said that Deshaun is your quarterback and you plan for Deshaun to be your quarterback. Do you still feel that way? Yeah, I think we'll take it one day at a time. And, um, you know, I think everything is is pretty fluid here. Um, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll adjust as we go. And okay. ultimately, I think we'll do what we feel is best for the Houston Texans organizationally. Okay. So you'd be open to a trade? I think ultimately we'll do what we feel is best for the organization. Okay. Um, Have you talked to him? Yeah, I don't want to get into 
any comment about what conversations have taken place with players? I think I've talked to a lot of different players. Mm -hmm. um, you know, those conversations are private. And those conversations are to remain between the respective parties. And I think that's out of respect to, to everybody involved. Okay. Now, if this wasn't such a, sub, a serious subject matter, I would have you play the what were they really thinking drop it. I don't think it really fits here. Uh, I, I, you, you know what this sounds like to me? This sounds like to me, may, and maybe this is the situation stuff that has changed the approach. This sounds like to me a general manager saying, I'll, I'll, I'll take your phone calls on Deshaun Watson. Or potentially a gentleman. If I'm, uh, obviously, I'm throwing darts at the board here, but I'm just using my my experience of, uh, of, of being in the NFL and hearing how general managers and talent evaluators and, and coaches and owners who can speak on behalf of a franchise or, or are comfortable doing that, um, just listening for buzzwords and listening to tone and stuff like that, just putting all together. It sounds like a general manager who might not be getting any calls about Deshaun Watson these days. Hmm. And that... I mean, it would make sense. And that if you call him, you're not going to get the answer of... Um. Anything but uh. Okay, wh what are you what are you talking about? Not like uh, uh, it's anybody but the quarterback. That's what that sounds like to me. Albert said, "Are you willing to accept take take on a trade?" And the response is, "We'll do anything that's best for the team." Okay. All right. Wow. So, what would it look like? Well, if you're the Dolphins, what it would look like is sixth overall pick and Tua? Would you do that for Deshaun Watson right now? What if you're able to say that the other first-round picks that you're throwing in are contingent on Deshaun Watson playing? That the, 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 the risk that you're taking is just for the draft this year, not for next year. What about that? What about that if you're if you're Denver? What about that if you're Carolina? What about that if you're that that there's some sort of mitigation involved? That sounds like a general manager that's willing to discuss and talk and ruminate and 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 take a look at this situation, right? I think so. We take it one day at a time. Ultimately, we'll do what we feel is best for the organization. Is not he's our quarterback. We're not trading him. Don't we call right. 